Are you a student and really thinking about enterprise architecture as a career? Or if you are someone who is really thinking about switching their career into enterprise architecture and really wants to know what an enterprise architect does, this video is for you. Hello, my name is Ali Usman. I'm a technologist, strategist, and an architect. In this video, I'm going to talk about the role of an enterprise architect and the day-to-day -day tasks that they do. This video is not about the need of an enterprise architect, how much they make, the tools that you would need to learn to be one. That's all for some other time. But in today's video, I'm going to talk about what an enterprise architect does so that you would have a good idea going into this profession. Before we talk about enterprise architect, we do need to understand a little bit more about what is enterprise architecture as a discipline. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go over few definitions of enterprise architecture, extract some information out of those definitions to show you what an enterprise architect does. The first definition we're going to go over is by GAO. GAO describes enterprise architecture as an enterprise architecture establishes the agency-wide roadmap to achieve an agency's mission through optimal performance of its core business processes within an efficient information technology environment. Now, there are some other definitions of enterprise architecture too, and we're going to go over uh, to an additional definition as part of this video. But I like this definition because it's pretty basic and pretty comprehensive and really talks about the traditional nature of uh, enterprise architecture. So if we look deeply into this definition, we can extract information such as an EA is someone who establishes a roadmap, defines the processes for the enterprise architecture management, establishes as is and to be architectures, analyzes existing capabilities, and aligns business strategy with IT. Now let's go to the next definition. This definition is by FIF. FIF is a federal enterprise architecture framework that is used by US federal government. According to FIF, enterprise archi architecture supports planning and decision-making through documentation and information that provides an abstracted view of an enterprise at various levels of scope and detail. This definition describes EA as someone who is providing their analysis and really supporting uh, the whole decision-making process. They are documenting uh, different sort of artifacts that could be used for the analysis and the decision-making process. And more importantly, this definition describes EA as someone who can, who is capable of seeing the holistic view of an enterprise. The next definition on the list is by TOGAF. TOGAF describes an architecture as the structure of components, their interrelationships, and the principles and guidelines governing their design and evolution over time. Now let's put this into perspective of enterprise architecture. So based on this definition of architecture, an enterprise architect would be someone who would structure the components and their interrelationships, defines principles and guidelines, provides oversight on the design, approaches, and best practices to be followed, and really keeping an eye on those components as they evolve. So based on the three definitions we have seen, we can summarize the role of enterprise architect as follows. Enterprise architect is someone who defines as is to be architectures, creates transition plans or roadmaps, provides analysis on existing capabilities, supports planning and decision-making activities by providing analysis, creates other artifacts and documentation to support enterprise-wide initiatives, defines the structure to catalog the components usually into enterprise architecture repository, and really defines the governance around the maintenance of these components in the enterprise architecture repository. They also define or help define the principles and guidelines to be followed. Besides the technical skills, enterprise architects are also expected to have superior communication skills, because as an architect, you would be working with the business unit to learn more about their business and how it affects the architecture. And you would also be working with the technical teams to learn about the solutions and alternatives 
that they are thinking about deploying and how that really affects the architecture. So that was it. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it was a useful information. Please like, comment, and share this video. I'll see you in the next one.